When doing a smoky eye, I always advise my clients to do the eyes first and then do the foundation later because I often find some of the dark shadow will land up underneath your eye and land on your foundation and it's really tricky to clean that mess up. So what I like to use is a Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer and then just gently pat it all over your eyelid. Next I'm going to use a nude coloured eyeshadow all over the lid of the eye, concentrating very much in the inner corner and along the brow bone. Cara's look is all about these well-defined, really strong eyebrows. Now, it's important to use two colors, a lighter color on the inner sides and then a little bit dark on the outsides and use a feathering motion with an angled brush. Another neat trick to keep your eyebrows, especially if they're quite bushy into place, is just to take a little bit of hairspray and spray it on one of these barrel brushes and comb your brows into place and they should stay set the whole day. Now find the hardest thing about doing a cat's eye is to get the perfect angle. A great trick is you take a bit of tape and then you just stick it along your bottom lash line and then add a little bit of shadow just in that crease and then with the perfect angle. Next you're going to take a medium to large sized eyeshadow brush um, and dip it into a grey to charcoal coloured eyeshadow and you just place it right there in that fold and then just cover your entire lid. Next you're going to take your liquid liner, place it as close to your lash line and dab it ever so slightly along that lash line and then join the dots. Now a great tip for getting the most amazing lashes, it's called an eyelash curler. Once you get in there you give it two really hard squeezes and immediately it opens up your eyes. Once your mascara is in place and it's still a little bit wet, what I like to do is I like to take one of these little barrel brushes and just give it a little bit of a turn so this is more the shape of your natural eye and then I do another zigzag combing through and always try and pull your lashes outward just to accentuate that cat eye. Now the reason I like to use a primer is it really does help the foundation adhere better to the skin. Just make sure you blend it evenly all over the skin. Next step, I like to use a foundation brush, concentrating on the center area of your face and the area I think that needs it most. So under the eyes, T-zone, under the chin and then blending it in an outward motion. Next I'm going to do under eye concealer. So I'm going to concentrate the most product on the inside corner and the outside corner, all the way out to the end and then just make sure you blend and pat gently. Now to instantly modernize your makeup look, I suggest using something like an illuminator or skin highlighter. Using my fingertips and just dab it on the brow bone and on the cheekbone and a little bit down the center of the nose and just above the cupid's bow to make your lips look a little bit fuller. Now the next step I really love to do is blush. Um, the best trick is to just smile and wherever those little round apples appear, that's where you focus your most intense color. And I like products that multitask like Stila's Convertible Blush, which also doubles up as a lip color. Once I've done that all over the lips, I'm going to take the nude pencil and just color in the entire lip. Now your second last step is to set your makeup and I like to use a translucent powder with no color. Put a light dusting using a big brush just to set everything in place and focus on your T-zone. Now to create a well-defined cheekbone, I like to use a matte bronzer into the natural shadow just along the forehead and under the chin and a touch on the nose and you're instantly bronzed and sun-kissed. Now to set everything and keep your makeup in place so it lasts all day, I like to use W Finishing Spray and you just do a light spray on the face. It should prolong your makeup and keep it nice and fresh. 